Ну, я взагалі відмінниця в школі, і я вчитися люблю, і я якось завжди дуже відповідально до цього ставилася з самого дитинства, з першого класу. Вчитися я любила, і школу я любила, і в інституті я любила. Взагалі я люблю вчитися. Англійську мову я не любила, скажу чесно. Я її дуже погано знала по закінченні школи. Да, там я знала ази, я знала там на свою цю оцінку, там п'ятірку, але це було таке завчене, вивчене, незрозуміло. Просто от там завчене. Вчила і все, але нічого не зрозуміло, чому так пишеться, чому так, а чому так читається. Hello, guys! My name is Natalia Ляшко. It's time for English lesson. Let's start. And I would like to welcome my very dear guest today. Hello, Oksana. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Today we are going to talk about London, the UK, England, Wales and all these things. We're going to mention it. So I would like to ask you, Oksana, have you been to London? No. Would you like to go? Yes, yes. <laughs> that's, that's good. What about you? Would you like to go to London? So let's travel around the UK. We're going to play a game today, so you play with us. The questions that Oksana is going to pick up, you answer and collect the points. I'm going to answer myself and I'm going to collect points as well. So there is going to be a battle between us. Okay? Okay. Let's go. So I will write the names. Natalia and Oksana. Have a look. Today we have four different categories. We have London, so questions about London. We have the land, questions generally about the country. Then weather. So I think it's obvious we will talk about the weather and sports. Do you know all the words, Oksana? Yes. Okay. So as you see, we have different types of the questions from 100 to 400. This is the easy. 100 is easy question. For 400 me? is challenging. <laughs> so let's start with easy questions. Yes. Agree? <laughs> so which category would you choose? No, maybe for me, sports. Sports. So let's go. How much? From 100 to 400. 100. 100. <laughs> Let's go. Sports 100. And we have a question. So please answer the question. What do British people love playing? And I will ask Oksana. What Maybe do they love playing? Squash. Squash. Okay. What else? Uh, football. Okay. Uh, tennis. Yes. And uh, cricket. Cricket. Yes. Mm -hmm. So football mm -hmm. and cricket. They are the most popular games in the UK. So if you answered correctly, you score 100 points. And Oksana scores 100 points as well. So, well done. My congratulations. <laughs> Let's where go. Is my, where is my money? <laughs> <laughs> later, later, no worries. Um. So, um, I'm going to choose Let's go with the land, okay? And I will choose 200 questions. Do, do you mind? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So, have a look at the question and help me. England is 74 times smaller than the USA. Is it true or false? What do you think? So, Oksana, help me. What do you think? True or false? Maybe true. Yes, this is true. England is small in the comparison with the USA. So it's true. And if you answered correctly, you also go with 200 points. Well done. Let's move on. Have a look at the fact file. So the area of England is more than 130,000 square kilometers. But the area of the UK is almost twice bigger. It's about 243 thousand square kilometers. Let's go. So, Oksana, choose the new category, please. Uh, the weather. Okay, how much? Um, 200. 200, let's go. <laughs> so, have a look. The temperature is usually below zero in the UK in the winter. True or false? 
below zero in the UK. Think about this. True or false? Maybe false. Maybe false, yes. Have a look at the answer. The temperature doesn't fall below zero in the UK very often. Sometimes it depends, but usually no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 200 points go to Oksana. Oksana, our winner. Yes, Oksana <laughs> is the winner. Great. If you answered correctly, you also score 200 mm -hmm. points. Let's go. I'm going um, with the land 100. Okay. We say Great Britain or Britain, and we mean A, England, Wales, and Scotland. B, England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. And C, England and Northern Ireland. What do you think is the correct answer? A, B, or C? So, Xana, what do you think? Ooh, uh, A, maybe A? Yes, maybe A. So, when we say Britain, we mean three countries. England, Wales, and Scotland. Some of you may say that, Natalia, B is the correct answer. No. When we say England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, we mean the UK generally. So this is the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, you answered correctly, and I give... Ah, this was my question, sorry. <laughs> I score 100 points to myself. So, let's go. My question, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. choose the category. Maybe sports is uh, 300. 300. That's a very nice question. Have a look. Irregular verb gymnastics. Do you like gymnastics? Yeah. I know that you <laughs> yeah. love. So that was the question especially for you. So a lot of our students, they uh, have problems with remembering irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. So we designed irregular verb gymnastics. Have a look. We have different irregular verbs like go, swear, win, forgive. Neprawalni idea slova. So they have three forms, do you remember? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we are going to practice them. Have a look. We have different... Hello. Yeah, like this. So, have a look. The infinitive is the first form. We do the hands up. Pidnimaimo ruchki, hands up. Yes, mm -hmm. this is the first form. Like go. Go. First went. Form. Yes, ah. go. Ah, go. <laughs> go, went. Went. Gone. Gone. Yes, go, three went, different forms. Gone. Go, mm -hmm. went. Gun, because three are different. All of them are different. Three reasoning form. Go, went, gun. Let's go with different. Win. Win. Repeat after me. Yes. Win. win. One, one. One, one. Because it's here, because it is the same. One, one. Druga i trecia forma spiv padajut. Let's do it again. Win. win. One, one, one. Bravo. Let's go with the word set. Set, 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 because it is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go with forgive. Forgive, 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 forgiven. Ah, forgiven. Yes, forgiven. let's try again. Forgive, forgive. forgave, forgiven. forgiven. Okay, well done. Let's try with come. Come is a very nice word. Come, come came, come. Okay, came, okay. come. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I hope you practiced with us as well. And I give you 300 points. Well done, Oksana. <laughs> that was really difficult. OK. Um, let me go with weather 100. Let's try. So please name words to describe the weather. What do you remember? Well done. What about you, Oksana? What do you remember? The weather um, words? Maybe sunny. Good. Uh, rainy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Maggie. Yes, have a look at these pictures. So let's have a look at this picture. For example, we have some sun and we see the cloud. We call this weather partly cloudy. Can you repeat? Pasmarna uh, imokra. Uh, Oh, yes, so we, we don't have, it's not sunny, right? So can you repeat after me? Partly cloudy. Repeat. Partly cloudy. Bravo. And you guys? Thank you very much. Uh, number three is rainy. You mentioned rainy. this. Yes. yes. And the last one? No sun, not partly cloudy, 
Just cloudy. Just cloudy. Cloudy. Yes, cloudy. Mm. And what about this weather? What do you think? Um, stormy, we can say. Stormy. Stormy, stormy. yes. We see the lightning and we hear the thunder. Ми бачимо блискавку і чуємо грім. So the weather is stormy. Can you please? Stormy. Yes. The weather is stormy. Bravo. Thank you very much. <laughs> and let's again repeat the words. Thunder. Thunder. And lightning. And lightning. Thank you very much. So 100 goes to me and to you as well. We are a great team. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. So, it's uh, your turn to choose the category. Uh, maybe London. London, how much? 100. 100, <laughs> okay. So, have a look at the question, guys. In 2015, London was named the world's most popular travel destination for the first time. True or false? What do you think? Oksana? <sighs> I think maybe false. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Because in 2015, London was named the world's most popular travel destination for the fifth time in seven years, not for the first time. Do you believe that this is the most popular attraction? No. A lot of people mm -hmm. go there. Mm -hmm. And now the borders are closed, so we can just go through the presentation to visit London. Why not? Okay, you answered correctly. I yes. give you 100 points. Good. For me. <laughs> Let's go. So, I will go with London as well. I will choose 200 questions. Let's go bit by bit. Okay. So, what can you see? Look at the picture. Is it a Tower Bridge or a London Bridge? So, a tower bridge. Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> tower bridge. Yes. A lot of people confuse this and they call this tower London Bridge because this is the most popular one, but it's not correct. Let's have a look at the fact file. Tower Bridge, one of the London's most famous landmarks, is a bridge on the Thames. And it has two towers in Victorian Gothic style that are connected with two walkways that are constructed so they can resist horizontal forces from suspended parts of the bridge. Base of each tower holds machines that leave two parts of the bridge, so bridge can allow passing of river traffic beneath it. Tower Bridge is located close to the Tower of London, from which it got its name. Ось чому він називається Tower Bridge, тому що він розташований близько до the Tower of London. Let's move on. So, that was my question. Yes? yes 200 yes. points goes to mm -hmm. me. What about you? Choose the category? Um, maybe Zealand. Okay. Uh, 400. 400. That's a nice challenge. Let's go. What is not true about the UK? Its area is about 243 square kilometers. Britain is the ninth largest island in the world, or Britain is the first most populated island in the world. What do you think is not true? Is not true... Number one, two or three? Uh, three. Three, yes, correct. So, Britain is not the first most populated island, but the third most populated island. So I give you 400 points. And if you mm -hmm. answered correctly, you also score 400 points. I am a rich woman. Yes, <laughs> bravo. That's a very nice answer. And the, you are not afraid of challenges. I really like it. Good. Hmm, my turn. I will go with sport. Um, 200, let's try. So, name English football clubs. Do you know any English football clubs? Okay. What about you, Oksana? Do you remember any football clubs? Arsenal, Manchester. Good. Bravo, <laughs> well all. done. Manchester <laughs> United Chelsea. or uh, Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool and many, many others because football is very popular in, uh, in the UK. So, 200 points. 
for me, and I give you 100 points as well. <laughs> this is nice. Good. Now it's your time to choose the category. Uh, uh, <laughs> my choice is uh, weather. Okay. 400. Well done. So, the sunniest part of the UK is, have a look at the possible answers. A, the north coast of England, Pivnichne Uzbereje Anli, the south coast of England, Pivdenne Uzbereje Anli, or the east coast of England. So, what do you think is the correct answer? The sunniest part. My baby. Yes, correct. Mm. This is pretty much obvious because sunny, south. south. Yes, like this. So I give you 400 points. Well done. This is a very nice route. So we continue. We have London um, 300. This is going to be my choice. Let's go. Name the river of London. So can you name the river? Good. What about you, Oksana? What do you think is the name of the river? Thames. Yes, we say the Thames. <laughs> the Thames. Bravo. Um, so, 300. I will divide it between us, okay? Okay. This is going to be generous. 150 to me and 150 to you. But if you answered correctly, you have 300 points only to you. Good. Let's move on. So, we have only one question left in each category. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. which category would you choose? The land. Uh, 300, 300 is possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the UK has more than 1,000 islands. Maybe. True or false? I think maybe. F mm, I think. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> because it has got a lot of different small islands. Can you More believe than it? The one thousand, okay. More than 1,000 islands. This is unbelievable. So, 300 points to you, Oksana? Yes. Well done. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, I'm a generous teacher. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Hmm. London, weather and sports. Let's go with uh, weather. So, 300 points. There are about 110 rainy days in London each year. True or false? What do you think? So, Oksana? I think maybe true. Yes, a lot of people say mm -hmm. that this is the rainiest part of the world, right? So, it's true. Well done. And 300 points. Again, let's divide between us. Okay, I should give more points to myself. It looks like I'm losing. It's I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So, we have two categories left. London and sports. Sports. Sports, of course. <laughs> so, let's go. 400 points. And the question. What equipment do you need to play cricket? This is a very nice question. So... What do you think? Ball. Okay. And uh, a bat. Bat. Yes. Have a look uh, at the picture. So, mm -hmm. we have a bat. This yes. is the bat. We have a ball and a wicket. So, these sticks form a wicket, vorota. Mm -hmm. And we also need gloves to protect our hands. So, again, a bat, a bell and a wicket. Can you repeat, please? A bat, a ball and a wicket. Bravo. Thank you very much. And they give you 400 points. Well done. And if you answered correctly, 400 points to you. If you answered only a bat and a ball, you can score 200 points. This is going to be fair. Well done. So, the last question which is possible is London, 400 points. Let's try. So, you can see the following sites in the English capital. And we have the options, Buckingham mm -hmm, Palace, mm -hmm. Big Ben, the London Eye, and the Eiffel Tower. Can we see all the sites in London or something that we don't see or we can't see in London? What do you think? Oksana, help me. No, maybe the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yes, the Eiffel Tower, we can't see it in London. Where can we see it? 
uh, in P Paris? Yes. So, uh, the Eiffel Tower is in Paris, it's not in London. But, as you see, we have the Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, and the London Eye. Be careful, we don't say London Eye, we say the London Eye. It's very important to remember about the article. Now, let's go through the fact file. Have a look. What are these pictures? Name the pictures. This is the task for you. So, number one is... Buckingham, Buckingham Palace? Yes, Buckingham number Palace. two. Uh, the London Eye. That's amazing. <laughs> and the last one? Uh, Big Ben? Yes, Big Ben, correct. So, 300 points. Well done. Uh, that was my question. Good. So, so, as you see, we answered all the questions. Now, let's count how many points do we have. Let's practice our math skills. Hmm, 200, 100, 200. This is 500, then we go with 300 and 200. This is already 1,000, okay, 300 and 100. So I do have 1,400. Let's go with your points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, interesting. <laughs> so 500, one more 500. This is going to be 1,000 together. 1,500, okay, so let's go like this, this is going to be 300 and 2 and 2, 100, this is going to be 2,000 already. And what is left? 300, 300 and 400, 2,700, wow, I'm amazed, do you like it? Yes. So my congratulations and round Thank of applause you. to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Count your points. That would be nice if we have these points in money, right? In banknotes. So I made my banknotes. Where is where is the price? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's revise some grammar points. The usage of article. Let's have a look. So the article, the definite article, with the geographical names. Let's start. We use no articles when we speak about bridges, when we have a proper name and the bridge, like Tower Bridge. So let's practice in a sentence, Tower Bridge or London Bridge. Tower Bridge is the most popular attraction in London. Possible? Yes. So, uh, Oksana, can you repeat again? Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. London Bridge. London Bridge. Do you Patona remember? Bridge. Yes, yes. correct. <laughs> So, we also use no article with some sites, like Big Ben or Buckingham Palace, but the London Eye or the Tower of London. So, the London Eye, please. Yes, uh, Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, but the London Eye. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. With countries, we use no article. England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Ukraine, we don't say the article the. Okay? And with cities and towns, we also don't use any articles. Like bath is a beautiful city. And bath here is not a bathroom. It's the name of the city. <laughs> so again, bath is a beautiful city. Can you repeat? Bath is a beautiful city. Thank you very much. <laughs> so let's revise when we use the article. The first option, museums. For example, the British Museum, let's have a look at the sentence. The British mm -hmm. Museum offers online booking. Can you help me, please, Oksana? The British Museum offers? Ah, offers online booking. Okay, thank you. With countries, when we have the word kingdom, for example, the UK, this is the United Kingdom. That's why here we use the article the. Do you remember we also said the USA, mm -hmm. the United States of America? We also use the article there here. So, study in the UK and learn English. Sana, can you read, please? Study in the UK and learn English. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. This is a nice promotion for <laughs> our teenagers. So, with the rivers, we also use the article the. The Thames, please. The Thames. Or the Trent. The Trent. Bravo. Do you remember any Ukrainian rivers? The Dipro. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. And ocean and seas, the Atlantic Ocean. 
Can you repeat? The Atlantic Ocean. Do you do we have any seas in Ukraine? The Black Sea. Sea, yes. The Black Sea, the Azov Sea. Okay. We say the Sea of Azov. The Sea of Azov. Yes, uh -huh. thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So let me test Oksana a bit and you answer with us. Mm -hmm. So what do we say? London Eye or the London Eye? The London Eye. Bravo. Thank you. And let's move on. British Museum or the British Museum? Museum with the. The British Museum. Congratulations. <laughs> this is a very nice answer. With the C's, do we use the article or don't? Uh, C's with. Mm -hmm. With article Z. Like the Black Sea. The Black Sea. The Sea of Azov. Thank you very much. <laughs> what about the oceans? Uh, uh, the. Yes. The Atlantic Ocean. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Um, for example, Big Ben. Do we use the article Big Ben or the Big Ben? No, uh, Big Ben. Big Ben, correct. Without the. Mm -hmm. What about the countries? For example, England or the England? The in oh no England but the UK. Bravo, amazing! Mm -hmm. And I would like to mention a very interesting fact to you. For example, we talked about oceans. Do you know that there is a word, the name of the ocean, which has got three letters C's, and all of them are pronounced differently. Let's have a look. Tihi Okean, the Pacific Ocean. So have a look. The first letter C, we pronounce as S, Pacific. The last letter C, we pronounce as K, the Pacific. And also, we have it here in ocean. We pronounce as SH, ocean. Do you realize that we have the same letter, but we pronounce in three different ways? The Pacific Ocean. Can you try, Xana? The Pacific Ocean. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And I hear the bell ringing. It means that we need to stop the lesson. Did you enjoy the lesson? Yes. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed the lesson with us. Next time, we are going to talk about Ukraine. So, see you next time. Bye-bye. Ну, мені дуже сподобалося. Просто сказати, що сподобалося, то ні про що. Мені, ну, класно, я кайфанула, як то кажучи, да, там, тінейджерською мовою. Це не мій коньок англійська мова, але я себе там відчувала нормальною, адекватною людиною, яка все розуміла, яка, яка могла співпрацювати, щось відповідати могла. Тому, ну, мені здається, такі вчителі – це скарб, який треба тримати, який треба, ну, це респект вам і дякую, що ви таких вчителів знайшли. Ну, клас, я, я задоволена, мені дуже сподобалося. Класно.